When the first games of March Madness tip off each year, virtually every one of the millions of fans who fill out brackets has the same thought. This could be the year. This bracket in their hands could be perfect. And then they get one game wrong and the quest for perfection is over. Next year. Definitely next year. Though the feat technically is possible, no one has ever picked a verifiably perfect bracket in the history of the NCAA tournament. So even in the face of insurmountable odds, millions of fans hold out hope. But none of them have ever come closer than Greg Nigel. A quick disclaimer before we get into the details of Nigel's bracket. Tens of millions of fans fill out brackets in online bracket challenge games every year. Many more fans fill out paper brackets for games against friends, family, and coworkers. But unless they mailed all of those brackets to us before the tournament started, there's no way for us to track these or prove that they're legitimate. So while it is possible that someone, somewhere, filled out an amazing, record-breaking bracket in their basement, we only take into account brackets that we can verify. NCAA.com has researched historical databases and tracked more than 100 million of these verifiable brackets since 2014. And before 2019, the longest streak of perfection we had ever seen was 39 games, set by a bracket in Yahoo's 2017 bracket game. Greg Nigel shattered that record. Here's how it happened. After the first day of play of the 2019 tournament, of the tens of millions of brackets we were following across all major bracket games, only 60,000 had picked the first 16 games correctly. After 16 more games, at the end of Friday night, that number had shrunk to just 15 brackets. Through the first round of play, those 15 brackets had survived 12 upsets, including three 12 seeds beating five seeds, and a 13 topping a four. After eight more games Saturday, we were down to just two perfect brackets. In Sunday's slate of games, the two brackets had identical picks for the first three matchups of the day. That included a nail-biting finish to the Duke and UCF game, where the Blue Devils, and both brackets, barely survived. And Duke survives! Just barely! But it was the next game that saw them split. Three-seed Texas Tech versus six-seed Buffalo. When the Red Raiders won by 20, the Sweet 16 in Anaheim for the Red Raiders of Texas Tech. We were down to just one verifiably perfect bracket across all major bracket games, Center Road. The Center Road bracket would survive the last four games of Sunday, pushing it to a perfect 48 for 48, shattering the previous record and making it the first ever bracket to stay perfect all the way to the Sweet 16. For reference, the odds of picking a coin flip correctly 48 straight times is 1 in 281 trillion, 474 billion, 976 million, 710,656. So yeah, this was kind of impressive. That week, the story of the most perfect bracket in the history of the tournament was picked up by the New York Times, the Washington Post, Sports Illustrated, and countless others. How long could Center Road keep it up? There were just 15 games left. That was definitely possible, right? But as the record-breaking bracket gained renown, there was one problem. Nobody knew who owned the perfect bracket, including the owner himself. But after a little digging, we were able to track down the man behind the bracket. And he had no idea. Oh, hi. Uh, my name is Greg Nigel. I got a message that you're trying to reach me about my bracket. For one shining moment, Nigel became a household name appearing in interviews on NCAA.com, Good Morning America, The Today Show, and a handful of local TV stations. One of the tournament's sponsors, Buick, flew Nigel and his son to Anaheim to watch his Michigan Wolverines in the Sweet 16. And after Gonzaga took down Florida State that Thursday, Nigel's streak was up to 49 games. They will play on Saturday. Then came the 50th game of the tournament, Tennessee versus Purdue. Alexander at the tip, it is Tennessee ball, and the Sweet 16 is underway. The Volunteers rallied from a double-digit deficit to force overtime. But the Boilermakers ran away with the game in the extra period. Center Road had picked Tennessee. Its first miss in 50 games. With the loss, Nigel's famous bracket was finally and forever imperfect. As the tournament returns in March, anyone who fills out a bracket will be looking to follow in Nigel's footsteps, becoming the next bracket celebrity. But the ending of this story should serve as a warning, proving one of our biggest bracket picking tips, that early games aren't nearly as important as the later games. Since the value for a correct pick doubles every round, picking one Final Four winner correctly is worth the same amount of points as getting the first 16 games of the tournament right. 
The bracket that ended up winning our bracket challenge game in 2019 started the tournament with only 10 straight correct picks before its first loss. It got just 26 of the 32 first round games correct, and 53 of the total 63 games right. And Nigel? After getting 49 straight games correct, his bracket went 5 for 14, ending with 54 correct picks, but finishing in the 90th percentile of the bracket challenge game in 240,668th place. But, for now at least, he remains first in one category. The longest a verifiable NCAA bracket has ever remained perfect.